A high-tech implant is giving a new lease of life to patients suffering from a potentially fatal heart condition. The computer-controlled device reprograms the heartbeat in people suffering from heart failure. Sky's health correspondent Thomas Moore has been given special access to see the procedure in action. Only a carefully placed sheet stops Kath Kerr having a close-up view of her own operation. She's wide awake as surgeons implant a new device to reprogram her heartbeat. It's her last chance of returning to an active life. Drug treatment failed to overcome her heart failure, leaving her with poor blood circulation and breathlessness that was so severe she could only walk short distances. Kath barely noticed wires being threaded deep into her heart. We just put a token and potion on us, and that's all there was to do. Couldn't feel a thing after that. More than a million people in Britain suffer from heart failure. In around 100,000, the disease is so advanced that the pumping action of the heart breaks down. The new device, called InSync, fires electrical signals into the heart muscle, restoring normal contractions. In some cases, there are dramatic benefits. Uh, overall, uh, one would expect a, a, a change in walking distance of about 30 to 40 percent. There is also a, a, an improvement in quality of life, and patients um, feel generally better. Implantation costs over seven and a half thousand pounds, but the device is so much more effective than drug treatment that hospital stays are cut by 80 percent. In just one year, the implant pays for itself. Before David Naylor had his implant, he spent his days slumped in an armchair, unable to move. Now he's full of life. I've only been back for checkups and to have the battery checked. Uh, and no problem, no heart failure, no chest pains. Uh, able to climb stairs again and able to do general things around the house. Government health watchdogs recently backed the implant. Doctors hope more patients will now benefit from the life-changing operation. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Sutton Coldfield.